Hi everyone, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise chemistry topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you are enjoying our videos so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, we'll delve into the final part of Topic 6, Chemical Reactions. Oxidation and reduction are key chemical processes where electrons move between atoms, essential for many chemical reactions. Oxidation and reduction can be understood in terms of either oxygen transfer or electron transfer depending on the context of the reaction. First, let's look at oxidation and reduction in terms of gain and loss of oxygen. So, if we are looking at reactions specifically involving oxygen, oxidation is the chemical process where a substance gains oxygen atoms. Reduction is the chemical process where a substance loses oxygen atoms. Once again, oxidation is the gain of oxygen and reduction is the loss of oxygen. When a substance gains oxygen, we say that it has been oxidized. And when it loses oxygen, we say it has been reduced. When one substance gains oxygen, another substance loses oxygen. This simultaneous occurrence of oxidation and reduction is why these reactions are called redox reactions. So, redox is short for reduction oxidation. Therefore, redox reactions involve both oxidation and reduction happening simultaneously. Here's a simple example of a redox reaction involving the transfer of oxygen, the reaction between magnesium and copper oxide. Magnesium gains oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Here, magnesium is oxidized. Copper oxide loses oxygen to form copper. Here, copper oxide is reduced. So, this reaction involves both oxidation and reduction. Now, let's look at oxidation and reduction in terms of loss and gain of electrons. So, in a broader context, oxidation refers to the loss of electrons and reduction refers to the gain of electrons. Oil rig is a helpful mnemonic to remember what happens during oxidation and reduction in terms of electron transfer. Please remember, we do not use this mnemonic for gain and loss of oxygen, only for electron transfer. So, oxidation is loss or oil. Oxidation involves losing electrons. And reduction is gain, rig. Reduction involves gaining electrons. Remember, redox reactions involve both oxidation and reduction simultaneously. In terms of gain and loss of electrons, when one atom loses electrons, another atom gains electrons. Let's look at an example of a redox reaction in terms of gain and loss of electrons. Zinc metal reacts with hydrochloric acid. If you look at the following half equations, you will understand what's happening in this reaction. Hydrogen ions gain electrons and are reduced to hydrogen gas. Here, we would say that the hydrogen ions have been reduced. This half equation looks pretty straightforward. But let's look at how we would write the half equation for oxidation. Zinc atoms 
lose electrons and are oxidized to zinc ions. Although this looks more intuitive and understandable, we must write the equation the following way. The standard practice is to put the electrons on the product side to show how they are released or transferred during oxidation. Here, we say that zinc is oxidized. An oxidation number is a number given to an element in a compound that shows if it has lost or gained electrons. It helps us figure out how electrons move in chemical reactions. Roman numerals are used to indicate the oxidation number of an element in a compound. The Roman numeral is put right after the element's name. Sometimes it may be confusing why reduction means gaining electrons, especially since the word reduction might remind you of the word reduce. When an atom or ion gains electrons, its oxidation number decreases, that is it becomes more negative or less positive. This decrease is why the process is called reduction. An electron is negatively charged, so adding these negatively charged electrons to an atom increases its negative oxidation number or reduces its positive oxidation number. The same principle applies to oxidation. When an atom or ion loses the negatively charged electrons, its oxidation number increases. That is, it becomes less negative or more positive. Copper is an example of an element that can form different ions with different oxidation numbers. In copper 1 oxide, the Roman numeral 1 indicates that copper has an oxidation number of plus 1. Each copper atom loses 1 electron. In copper 2 sulfate, the Roman numeral 2 indicates that copper has an oxidation number of plus 2. Each copper atom loses two electrons. So, the Roman numeral tells you the specific oxidation number of the element in that compound. Let's look at some general rules for identifying redox reactions by changes in oxidation numbers. The oxidation number of elements in their uncombined state is zero. For example, the oxidation number of O2, Mg or N2 is zero. The oxidation number of a monoatomic ion is the same as the charge on the ion. For example, the oxidation number of Na plus is plus 1 and for Cl minus it is minus 1. The sum of the oxidation numbers in a compound is 0. For example, in H2O, the sum of oxidation numbers is 2 times plus 1 plus minus 2 which is 0. The sum of the oxidation numbers in a polyatomic ion is equal to the charge on the ion. For example, in SO42 minus, the sum of oxidation numbers is minus 2, which matches the ion's charge of minus 2. By using these rules, you can identify redox reactions by looking at how oxidation numbers change during the reaction. Next, oxidizing and reducing agents. An oxidizing agent is a substance that oxidizes another substance and is itself reduced. So an oxidizing agent causes another substance to lose electrons and it gains electrons. 
example in the reaction between zinc and copper 2 oxide. Copper 2 oxide acts as the oxidizing agent because it causes zinc to oxidize, that is lose electrons or gain oxygen and is itself reduced to copper. A reducing agent is a substance that reduces another substance and is itself oxidized. So a reducing agent causes another substance to gain electrons and it loses electrons. In the same reaction as before, zinc acts as the reducing agent because it causes copper 2 oxide to reduce that is gain electrons or lose oxygen and is itself oxidized to zinc oxide. Finally, we'll explore how color changes can help us identify redox reactions using acidified aqueous potassium manganate and aqueous potassium iodide. Potassium manganate acts as an oxidizing agent and is itself reduced. When used in redox reactions, it changes from purple to colorless as it is reduced. Potassium iodide acts as a reducing agent and is itself oxidized. In redox reactions, it changes from colorless to brown as iodine is produced. That concludes Topic 6, Chemical Reactions. Are you enjoying our videos? Are they helping you? Here is a way you can show your appreciation and support our continued efforts. You may use YouTube Super Thanks to send us thanks. Hope this video helped you. Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more revision videos. Bye!